I want to teach you a new word. Brevfloplasty. Brevfloplasty. You know it as eyelid surgery. I'm going to have eyelid surgery done tomorrow. And uh, I want to show you why. It's particularly this eye. I have a lot of excess eyelid. See that right there? Now it'll find its way back up in uh, form, but it's uh, an issue. It's uh, affecting my peripheral vision, particularly when I drive. And uh, I'm a YouTuber. I create YouTube videos. I make two, three of them uh, a week. And I've noticed as I watch my YouTube videos that my eyelids are, are drooping. So I'm going to have the surgery done. Look at that. It still hasn't come back. I'm going to have it done tomorrow. And, and I want to talk about why I'm having it done. And I've given it some thought. Is it, all, is it pure vanity? I don't think so. Um, I do it for the same reason I run in the Senior Olympics, that same reason I lost 20 pounds, the same reason I'm going to lose another 10 pounds, and because I do videos. And I get up close to the camera like this, and they, they look droopy. So I'm having it done. I want to stay healthy. I want to stay vital. And I want to stay relevant. Those are some more reasons I'm having it done. Let's talk about cost. To have the two done, what they do is they come in and they cut here and then they uh, take out the excess and then they stitch it back up. So I'll have uh, surgery or incisions and then sewing on both eyes. And it'll take probably somewhere in the neighborhood of three weeks for it to, um, to heal. So, and I think you'll still be able to see it because I'm not going to wear any eyeliner or eye makeup. Um, but they won't be drooping. And that's important to me. Um, the surgery costs about $2,500. Um, and, but my insurance picks up all but 250 of it. And I don't know if that's because I'm on Medicare and, uh, or if it would have with the uh, other insurance that I had had prior to Medicare. I'm going to do another video. Um, as I say, the surgery is tomorrow, uh, 9.30 in the morning. i got to be at the hospital. By the way, it's the first time I've ever been to the hospital in, in my life. I've, I've never had any surgeries. I've never had any um, severe illnesses. So here I am, 75 years old, and it'll be the first time I've ever been admitted to a hospital. It's my plan, if I'm up to it, then after the surgery, tomorrow afternoon, I'll come and do another video and show you exactly um, the effects of it. And then I figure about, uh, I'll be doing my regular videos, but I think I'm going to do an update um, over the following three, four weeks, whatever it takes for it to heal, so that if anybody is like me and is considering having it done, that they can they can have full awareness of what's going to happen and, and how it's going to happen as they proceed. Again, I think the... I wouldn't have probably done it if I hadn't been doing these YouTube videos. Oh, my, my cousin Sandy told me two years ago that... Uh, I needed to have it done, but I didn't pay much attention to her. And, and it really was that I started noticing it when I drove, particularly in the evening. And, and then I started seeing it of myself when I would watch my videos. So that's why I'm having it done. Um, and I know there are some of you who may be considering it, so I want you to be aware of it. Now, the next thing I need to get done is this right here. Um, but I don't think Medicare is going to pay for that, the chicken neck, rooster neck, I guess is what they call it. So wanted to share that with you. wanted to let you know that I'm going to probably be wearing some pretty heavy sunglasses in my other videos sometime in, in, for the next couple of weeks. Um, but it's the first time, first time I've ever been cut on. I, I take that back. I had a vasectomy that. But that was an in-office visit. But I did get cut on. 
So talk to you tomorrow or Saturday. This is Thursday. I'm having it done on, on Friday. Uh, so you can see what it looks like and what is involved, and uh, we can learn together.